What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And today I want to kind of talk about this game and is it worth playing in 2020. This is a game that came out of course last fall, kind of 20, end of 2019, that was anticipated by a lot of people but was very disappointing to a lot of people. And all those disappointments that I had heard about it, all the disappointments that I had seen in reviews, kind of made me hesitant in purchasing the game. Now, I was not a huge fan of Wildlands. I did play the beta when it was released, and I did not pick up Wildlands because there was other games at the time that I was looking to get, so I was just kind of having to pick and choose what I wanted. And Wildlands just did not really do it for me, I guess, at the time. So I'm not really going to compare it to that because I have not played it, and that would definitely not be fair. But so far, I have enjoyed Breakpoint for the most part. I think there, or I know for a fact there's been a lot of changes since it was released. There's been a lot of different things added into the game. It is a looter shooter. It is like that Destiny style game that Ubisoft makes. The good thing about it, in my opinion, is unlike Destiny, you do not have to sit here and fill enemies full of bullets. The majority of enemies can be killed with one bullet to the head. Now, there are some, there are some things in the game that are more difficult to fight, bosses, that kind of stuff. But just your kind of common enemies don't take a clip of ammo to kill, like Division. And that is one thing about the Division I didn't like. But things like uh, Destiny and, and the Division, I, I really enjoy those looter shooter style games, but I know some people do not. And as of uh, just you know a recent update, they did add a thing in called the Immersive Mode, which instead of playing that looter shooter style game where you're going for gear, sto gear score, new items to rank up you know your gear score level, where it's pretty much like any other game where it counts your weapons and of course whatever gear you have on your body, you can go into an immersive mode which completely takes gear score out altogether and makes it more of a tactical style shooter and that may be up a lot of people's alley if you do not like that gear score kind of idea. So if you stepped away from playing or have not played because of that aspect of the gear score thing, definitely you might want to come back to the game or try it out for yourself because of that immersive mode. Overall, I, I think it's an enjoyable game. There's a lot of settings you can tweak the game to kind of play however you want. You can make it extremely difficult, a lot easier. You can make it to be more of a stealthy style game, a running gun style game. There's a lot of ways to play here. I think uh, Ubisoft did a good job with that to not, to not really force you to play one particular way. Uh, this was a game that I, I picked up last week. It was on sale on the PlayStation Store. I purchased the Gold Edition, which gave you the base game and the Season 1 pass which of course there has been some content that has come out for season one not everything yet of course we still are in season one till the end of this year or to the end of 2020 and so far they have added some new things into the game they have added a new uh, episode which is episode two which deals with sam fisher this is called the deep state mode and when i first saw this i thought it would be something like you know just kind of a cheesy thing to add sam fisher in i have not played it yet because i have not finished all of episode one and all the side missions and stuff like that but everything that I have seen about it and read about it so far, all the reviews I've read about Deep State, is it really brought the feel of Splinter Cell to the game. And a lot of people said, you know, since there's not been a new Splinter Cell game in a, a, a good while, this was exactly what they were, were looking for in, in kind of a Splinter Cell game. They said it makes it feel like Splinter Cell. And from what I've heard, that new DLC, that Deep State DLC, is around 8 to 10 hours to complete. So if you are a fan of Splinter Cell, you already own the game, you might want to pick that up and try it out. When it comes to just kind of gameplay, I, I, I feel like it's clunky at times. Some of the movement system is very clunky. I don't like the cover system in the game. Where the division, you know, you have a, a particular button you can use to get into cover. This game, if you just get behind cover, you will go into cover automatically, which does make it kind of clunky at times going out of doors and things like that. You'll get hung up on stuff and, and kind of stuck. Uh, overall, uh, gameplay also, solo is... Probably not the way most people want to go. I find the game a lot more enjoyable with friends because there's lots of cool things you can purchase in games. There's lots of cars and, and trucks and things you can buy, helicopters, things like that. And when playing with friends and you have all these crazy cars and motorcycles and, and helicopters, if you're just wanting to go around and play and kind of be goofy and have fun, you can do that and the game really doesn't punish you for it. And sometimes you will just get into situations where we've been riding bikes to a certain location to a next objective and you have, you know, wrecks or funny moments or, you know, you run into a bunch of enemies and your cars explode. It just kind of brings enjoyment when playing with friends. And I think overall friends are the best way to play. But like I said, for most people now, I think with the basic kind of gear score mode, you know, the basic uh, looter shooter kind of idea, 
and the new immersive mode. I think it gives you a lot of ways to play with friends if you want to play tactically or if you want to play that kind of gear score way. Uh, there's some other things that have also been added in if you have not played since the game has been released or you have not played at all. There is a 4v4 or a four uh, a four man excuse me four man raid in game kind of like things you would see in a division or in Destiny. This uh, raid actually does have matchmaking from everything I can see or I can understand about it. It is a, a, a gear score of 150 is what it says. Um, but that is an option if you like to play something a little bit more difficult. There is also PvP in the game if you're looking to play PvP. If you like Ghost Recon style PvP, that is also available uh, as well. I think overall uh, it was a lot better than I was expecting. I think I'm glad that, uh, honestly, that I waited until now, several months after it had been out, for all the bugs and the kinks to get worked out and for things to get added into the game to improve it. Because I think if I would have picked it up from the start, I would probably would have had everyone else's opinion as well. I'd kind of been disappointed with it. Where now I think it is in a better state, and personally I have been enjoying it. Like I said, it is a lot of fun with friends. If you do have the game or you have not purchased the game yet, Check it out if you're on PlayStation because, like I said, I know it's on sale right now and there. I'm not sure on PC or Xbox if it is. But for 30 bucks, I have really been enjoying it over the last week. And I'm really looking forward to continue to playing uh, other things within the game uh, going into Episode 2 and also trying out the raid itself. Leave me a comment, guys. Let me know what you think about uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Have you played it recently? Have you ever played it before? Are you looking maybe to get it uh, in the upcoming days or something like that? Leave me a comment with your thoughts, and if you liked it, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, click the bell icon in the top right corner. If you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out the affiliate GT Racing. Uh, they sell gaming chairs and office chairs, and all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.